Hey everybody, it's Shankvlox, and today I'm going to be taking the headphones I made in my last video into Roblox Studio with the textures on them. So, um, this is almost s similar to my how to, how to texture a mesh object for Roblox, but instead of using, um, Instead of using like, like a certain ID, you have to paste into the texture ID. This is there's going to be a much easier way to, to do that inside of of Blender. So what you first want to do is hopefully you saved your um, headphones project from last time. I did, I did, and uh, right here. So um to bring them into Roblox with the textures that you put on them, um what you want to do is go up here to to um this corner where it shows these four like um bar things and then just drag over until something opens. There we go. Okay, and then go up here and go to the pretty sure it's the UV editor this will come here um you want to hit tab for edit mode and then hit A to select everything and then all all this weird um really weird stuff will be um will be go, go going on in here. Anyway, so what you want to do is want to hit U, and then Smart UV Project, and then hit OK. And then that's going to make all of this come up here. So that just leave this alone for now. Um, what we need to do now is get a... Let's just get a... um. A texture like a texture image to put here so what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using Canva for this um, so what, what you want to do is you want to get your colors so what I'm using is white and orange I already have a white default background here so what I need is just an orange um, an orange one which I have right here I'm just gonna take this and put it put it in just in the corner about that. So this is the texture I'm gonna be using. Um it's very it's a very simple texture but um this vi video is how ha how to do it simple and easy. So what I wanna hit is download, download, and it's free to download, just wait for it down here, X out of there. Then go back into Blender. Um, make sure that it is downloaded. Um, I'm just gonna make sure yeah, there it is. So go back into Blender. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go up here to Image. Um, actually no, you wanna go to um, Open, and then find your image. I can remember the name. Let me see. Here it is. Open, and then this is this right here is going to happen. Um, what what I'm going to do is just take the textures off of here so I can see what I'm doing. Here we go. Um. Yeah. Anyway, so now what you want to do is go over here, and you want to hit add a new texture, but then go down to the base color and change this to a image texture, and then your object object should become black. 
then hit open and open up your image texture again open up and then all this weird stuff should be happening but this is where you're going to need to put um these things in the right places so go to tab for edit mode on this side of the screen a to d d double hit a to deselect everything then um, I'm just going to start with the orange parts first. So um, I'm just going to hit C to drag and select things here. Okay, so there's one. So now I'm going to take. I'm going to do this one as well. Okay, so there are the two parts that are going to be orange. Now I'm just going to going to um go over here and um, you, you can just hit B to box select everything, or you can just drag with, or you can just let F click and drag. Hit S to scale down. Um, yeah, S to scale down. Hit G to move and just move these. It doesn't matter how big they are or small they are for just a solid texture. But, now as you can see, both parts are orange. So now I'm going to make it so that the rest are white. So what you want to do is just select all, all the parts that you want white and then put them and just left click, no, left click and um, yeah, select them and just put them somewhere in the white place so that they stay white. Um, so I'll be back when I'm done doing that. Okay, so I have all the parts that I want to be white selected. What I'm going to do is just box like these, kill them down, and just move them to a random place in the white part. So as you can see, everything is now where it's supposed to be. Um, there's no weird gl glitchiness going on. So now what you want to do is just um, take go to File. Export wavefront OBJ and just export your headphones. Now I'm just going to rename these to um, simple simple head simple headphones. Export. Then what you want to do is go into Roblox Studio. Now this is where it's going to get really easy because you don't have to like upload a decal to Roblox and then copy the ID then bring it into here and all that stuff. Only I do is just go up here to the um, not properties explore tab, um, hit the plus button, add in a mesh part. Then in this mesh part da down in the properties is going to be this little folder with a green arrow. What you want to do is just hit that and then just find your simple headphones. Open. If this comes up, it's going to, it's going to say your mesh contains location data. Would you like to move your mesh to, to the given location? What this means is that where this big, this um, big grid here is this is where the big grid inside of Roblox is where it's, it's asking you where to p put it. If that makes sense. So just hit no. If you hit yes, it will send it like somewhere in the sky because that's where the grid is. Um, if you hit no, it's just going to leave right here. So I'm just going to hit no. Then let it load in. And there we go. We have our object with our textures. I'm just going to make this shade smooth. And would you look at that? It's perfectly um, how it's supposed to be. Um, let me scale this up a bit. 
So there it is. Um, I would just leave it scaled down so that it fits the size of a character if you want to put this on a character but for now I'm just going to leave it to its small size and that's how you um that's how you texture something into Blender and then bring it into Roblox Studio in a very very easier way um if you guys want me to do a video on how to make on how to turn this into a hat to put on like a um, a model character or something then please l let me know down in the comments below um that's going to be it for this video so please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one